Okay, welcome back to the Project Station Invasion series. <coughs> right, so in the last video we uh, finished off the uh, login script and so now we need to continue on and create a page which we're going to be redirected to upon the successful login. Now in this game I'm going to uh, have it redirect to <coughs> a character page and on this character page there's going to be three uh, an option to have to create three characters up to three characters so we're going to start off by creating a new PHP page and we're going to copy all the <coughs> standard script from the last page so that's the style sheet and the link to our jQuery file okay so we're going to save this page and I'm going to save it as character.php so if we come over to our web browser and just go to character.php we're given nothing but a black background. So to give that page some decoration I'm going to copy the header section out of our index page and I'm also going to take the footer section out of our index page. So now when we come over and we refresh, we've got our footer and our header sitting there. So now for the um, body section of the page, we're going to put out in our div with the ID of body. And we're going to uh, fill this the content of the body up with a character selection layout. Okay, so here we have a rough looking design for the character selection page. On our right here we have a character info box. Now this um, information box will be filled with all the information of a selected um, character <coughs> and over on the left here we have three um, character boxes one for each of the characters now with a character box um, which is empty which has no um, data in it it will just display um, in big letters uh, the word empty but in any um, boxes which contain character data where a character has actually been created there will be a brief sort of um, the basic information of, of each character you'll have your character name headed at the top followed by its level, its class, when it was started, like the, the date the character was created and a last scene. Now this last scene will um, tie into uh, the, the map system which we will look at in a short while. In addition to holding um, character information as you might be able to notice these boxes have a very dark green uh, background applied to them when you roll over them whereas the, the one that's empty doesn't these um, lit backgrounds uh, 
it, it just for effect really um, of showing that you're hovering over a character <coughs> and <coughs> we'll go through the layout and the CSS for each of these boxes so the character info box um, lies up the top and it's got I've given it an ID of character info I have a h3 tag which will contain the character's uh, name it'll then ha have its followed by its level class uh, last seen credits in um, separate paragraph tags under that we have a h4 tag uh, which just contains the word stats and these will hold it's just a single paragraph tag and this shows the health accuracy and dexterity the might res resilience uh, focus insight and luck of the character now these um, stat names may only be temporary it depends if I can find any other words that might suit each um, stat better and we'll uh, go over what each of the stats are <coughs> when it comes to actually creating the character below the stats I have another separate paragraph tag with uh, points the leveling up uh, system will run with points um, and basic uh, level increase and under that in a separate paragraph tag and an A tag we've got a load character <coughs> under the character info box we have the three character boxes now these are all separate div boxes with an ID of character and the first two have a, uh, a class of full and this is where we uh, use our this, this is what depicts whether we have a rollover or not <coughs> and it, inside of the um, full character boxes we have a h3 ta uh, tag heading uh, with a character name then the level class started uh, uh, start date and last seen in uh, separate paragraph tags so this is what makes the layout of each of these uh, boxes or and this whole page so if we have a look at the CSS <coughs> our character box we've got a black background with a padding of uh, 20 pixels I've given it a height of 200 pixels and a width of 50% the border is uh, thin solid with a light green uh, color which is 0c3 and I've given it a margin um, of top and bottom of 10 pixels the character full or the the character box with, which contains a class of full on the hover pseudo class I've got given it a, a background color and this background color is an RGBA background color and it stands for red, green, blue and alpha the first three numbers give it a uh, give it the red value the second gives it its green value the third gives it its blue value and the fourth one gives it its opacity and its alpha channel value so if I raise this to one and save it and when we refresh you'll notice these boxes become a lot brighter compared to what they were so if we go back and reduce this back to 0 0.5 and refresh you can see it's it's a very faint uh, dark green as opposed to a more prominent dark green. 
<coughs> on a character box, uh, anything with a heading of H1 or H3, I've given it a text align of center. And then for the character info box, we've got pretty much the same um, content as the character box has, except I've given it a height of 500 pixels and a width of 40 pixels. And I've also floated it to the right, which makes it sit next to these other three boxes. And I've given the character info um, H3 tag a text line of center. Now, if we come back over to our character.php page, there's one thing I uh, want to point out here is that the character info box must go before any other divs that it's going to sit next to. <coughs> so if I take this character, uh, character info box and stick it down at the bottom and save it, you'll notice that this character box actually drops beneath the line of the last character box when I'm on refresh. And this is why the character box must sit above any boxes that it's going to be sitting next to. Okay, so now we need to start adding some PHP. Alright, so before we go on to the PHP, we're going to need to uh, design our characters table. So if we come over to our PHP my admin and we load up our database all we have currently is user account and we're going to add a new table and call this user characters and the amount of fields we need to start off with is we're going to have one for our character ID, one for our account ID, we're going to have character name, <coughs> a level, class, a start date, last scene, so that's seven. We're going to have credits, that's eight. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stats, so that's sixteen altogether. And we'll have one last one for points, so that's seventeen fields we currently need. Okay, so here I have uh, my table. Our first field is um, character ID, which has an auto increment and is a primary index, followed by the account ID. We've then got our name, which is a varchar. We've got our class, I've added a gender. Um, we've got level, and credit, and create date. And they're all integers, and all unsigned. Sorry, class and gender aren't, because they're only temporarily gonna be um, integers. <coughs> we've then got a location. We've got then got health. We've got M health, which is our maximum health. Accuracy, Dexterity, Might, uh, Resilience, Focus, Insight, Luck and Points. So there we have all our um, our, stat, our stats set for our, in our table. And on the next video we're going to start looking at pulling information out of the database and displaying it on screen in those boxes. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.